lot of comments and questions and sometimes I uh, don't have time to answer them right away and I star them and then months later I'm like oh I never answered that person's question and this is one of those somebody asked me a while ago how we can change the title of the window in uh, the terminal so you can see right here the title of this terminal is terminal and I'm going to show you how to do this I haven't tested this out in other uh, terminal emulators like Xterm or console uh, I'm, I'm using uh, GNOME terminal and uh, I know it works here so I can't promise it works in the others. Um, and the way you do it, you can. there's an easy way to do it when you're starting up the terminal, but if you want to change it while you're working, uh, the way we set it is we're going to set a variable and we're going to call it prompt command. We're going to say equals and then we're going to say inside uh, single quotes here echo dash ne and now this gets to the part where I really don't know exactly what this all stands for. I just know it works. So I'm going to start my uh, quotations for what we're echoing, and we're going to do uh, backslash 033 bracket 0 semicolon, and then a new set of quotations, what we want the title to be. So I'm going to say films by Chris close those quotations, another backslash, 007, quotation, single quotation. Once again, um, I know you need those in there for this to work properly. I don't know exactly what they stand for. Uh, maybe, uh, I'm sure somebody out there does. Comment if you do. Don't make me sound like an idiot because I don't know. I just know that this works. So we're setting a variable equal to the echo output of this so we'll hit enter and you'll watch, you'll see the terminal message up here should change the films by Chris. There you go. Uh, so that is how you change the terminal window. So once again we can go in here and put something else. We can add maybe .com and we'll put www.filmsbychris.com. So now it says www.filmsbychris.com. You can make it say this is my script and you can throw that inside a bash script somewhere and it will change the title um, you can't see my uh, panel down at the bottom of my screen but uh, the in the panel where it shows the uh, the the not icon but the the list of applications you'll see the terminal it says this is my script as well so you'll see that change you can write this into a script where uh, maybe it shows a process. Actually, let's do that right now. This is kind of a short video. I haven't done this yet. Hopefully I can do it. I'll say nano pros or proc dot sh and we'll start our bash script bin bash. Let's paste that in there and what I'll actually do is I'll just put dollar sign x as our variable we'll say percent complete and we'll put that into a loop we'll say first let x equal one and then we'll say while dollar sign x is I'll just say less than I'll say 101 actually. Actually, no, we'll say 100. Yeah. And then we'll say do. We'll indent to be proper. Done. And we'll sleep for uh, a tenth of a second. If I did that right, then at the end, we'll paste this command again and we'll say it. process complete. Now, I have never done this before, but this should work. We'll save that. We'll make it executable with change mod proc sh proc sh. Now when we start this, we should see the process going in the bar up here. So we'll hit enter. 
Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, you know, I do know one problem I didn't do. We need to let x equal x plus 1. And just in case maybe this percent sign's messing things up, let's. Hmm. This is what I get for trying stuff I haven't tried before while I'm recording. But let's echo out dollar sign x so we can see if there's an output going. Okay, so it's going there. It's not updating this up here. And I wonder why that is. Interesting. Nano. Mm hmm. Let's change this to a 10, see what happens when the process completes. Hmm. Very interesting. So let's uh, comment this all out. And run the script. Hmm. Very interesting. But if I copy this here, it changes it. Very interesting. So that does not work in a script. See, we all learn something new every day, even me. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to look into this more, find out why it doesn't work in a script. If someone knows, go ahead and comment and let me know. Um, but I'm glad I realized that and I just didn't go on and finish the tutorial and then someone come back and say it isn't working for them. Uh, for some reason it's not working well in a script. But for now, you know, one way of changing the title it doesn't really help you if you're not in a script, I guess. So um, I'll look into that. Thank you for watching and visit filmsbychris.com and see me make a fool of myself every now and then, now and again. So. Have a great day. Bashscripts.info as well. Visit that site. Bye.